opponents in Storm deck because our other deck is going to be really bad against Storm. This hand happens to not be great against Storm, but like it's pretty good against against this other deck. So that's the gamble, and we're going to take a draw before anything happens that we can attack with. That's going to be good. Oh, uh, it looks to be the Storm deck. Too bad. Actually, no, no, it could also be the Phoenix deck. You're digging it. <laughs> Bong is really good with Black Lotus, right? <laughs> Imagine if you had unbanned Black Lotus and you could play... Okay, serious question. If we unbanned Black Lotus and you could play four Black Lotus, like all the way back to 1993 when you could do that, which Legacy deck would you play? Like, everything stays the same, but you can play four Black Lotus in Legacy. There's always going to be that one guy who says, Burn! I cast four burn spells in the first turn, you take 12 damage. Then I fire blast you. Actually, that wouldn't even work. They would do it anyway. <laughs> Storm easily. Yeah. I could see Storm. Honestly, I think I would actually see something like Stacks even. But Storm probably. Yeah, sh Shops are Storm, right? That's what I feel too. Maybe even Bomberman. Honestly, like, I would maybe actually play this deck. Yeah, some of our decks... Um, in order to emulate the natural legacy environment, we kind of agreed that we would also play some decks that don't have any banned cards. <laughs> so we not only have this inbred metagame of like all banned decks, but we can also see how, for example, we have Black Red Reanimator, which is somewhat, I wouldn't really call it a combo killer, like blue Black Reanimator is more of a combo killer, but like some, how are regular legacy decks interacting? We don't have like any fixed rules, like I actually wasn't aware of that in the first week even. Like in the first week I played all banned decks. I think I might have done that in the second week as well. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we will see how this is going to work out. Biffy is thinking hard about this line, so I would think that's the Storm deck. Let's see. It's also interesting whether I, I lead on City of Traders or Cavern of Souls. Because if you lead on City, then there's a chance that you get turned to Forge. Whereas, but then if you don't, then you basically lose your City and you play just Mentor and then it's... Not gonna be anything great on your third turn. But hopefully we will draw something that will take that decision away from us, for example like Chalice. Chalice would be sweet. Chalice is love. Chalice is life. What if we draw LED? Uh, that wouldn't do it right away. Step them up. No, but if we could sacrifice artifacts, that would be insane because then we could actually go for something crazy like combo, uh, Bomberman combo plus Mystic Forge and then you play Mystic Forge and if you don't like the top card, you tap it, then you sacrifice it, then you have a lot more mana again, then you get Mystic Forge back, play it, you can tap it again. One is tanking really hard. Oh, he's having audio issues. Okay, so I guess they're, I guess they're over. Okay, now we don't really know what they're doing. Imagine t t telling, saying that like in the paper and we went, like, oh, Judge, she's playing so slow and opponent's like, no, I, 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 what? I'm having audio issues. <laughs> I can't speak now. Okay, Chalice, come on. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, we're gonna name you Human. I'm gonna see how it goes. Shuffle, they did not shuffle. There's a good chance we're dead. I'm already looking at my sideboard. I mean, our oh, main deck is so good against Storm. So it's Phoenix. Oh fuck, that also means that our last matchup is gonna be horrible and they actually have a chance to double hit on Salvagers here, even though they probably would name Mentor. Like, it's more likely they named Mentor here. They could even name Forge. On the other hand, they have little ways of interacting with Salvagers outside of Double Bolt. Man, we got the wrong matchup. <laughs> we needed the other one! <laughs> So our last deck is gonna. If, oh, my last deck is not good against Storm. My last deck actually plays four Helm of Awakening to tell you something about how that works against Storm. But let's see how this is gonna work out. Forge is so crazy. You might even consider name Forge, but you could always ha maybe have something like Young Pyromancer, uh, Spell, Flashback. On Mystic Forge next turn. I mean, there's a world where I can cast Mystic Forge next turn if I draw Lotus Petal. It's not that likely. I, if I was him, I would name Mentor. Name's Mystic Forge. That's that's reasonable as well. If you 
think you won't be able to flash back next turn. Or if you're really scared that like one of my last draws has been Lotus Petal. I think if I drew Lotus Petal now, I think I would still play Mentor into Lotus Petal. And then the double flash back on Cyber Chest. Ugh, that would be rough. Actually, I would play Cyber Chest because Mentor would die to, to Bolt. And I think it won't matter Bolt. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad for us. Oh fuck. I think I'm not even playing Mentor. I just feel like Mentor would, would probably die right away. And now I'm taking the 3 4 1. Like, but I can't really avoid it because I can't play my Cyber Chest. This is. I'm scared. Nuclear launch detected. If he actually gets a flashback next time, it's gonna be horrible for us. But if he doesn't, then we, we literally get to make a bunch of. What, what, what's a 2 4 vanilla card? That, that's like an elephant. That, that's, that's a 2 4 vanilla for 4 mana that was actually played a little bit like a, a CR 23rd card in the draft. 2 4 vanilla. And honestly, right now, it seems like the 2 4 beatdown could actually get there. Opponent. Five minute warning. Didn't shuffle once again. Ooh, cable therapy from hand. Ugh. Triple kill. <laughs> would be hilarious if you actually ended up drawing another Rory Savages next turn because that's actually a card I would like to draw here. While well, walking ballista. Okay, ballista is interesting. Um, like I could cast it for two right now, but I don't think that's where I wanna be. Let's actually check out this deck. He does play days. Okay, that's surprising. And, and all of these. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm gonna name construct. And then I'm my body is ready to trade for Bolt, especially since that would put him at only two cards in hand. So it makes it less likely that he gets like something like Dark Ritual Buried Alive. Into I guess two spells is already enough. Now how many do you need for Phoenix? You need you need two spells, right? For Phoenix is three R uh, three, yeah, that was something. Okay, thoughts is Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, it chokes on him, now he can't at least flash back for something meaningful. And we can top deck something and totally, like, take the game over. Mystic Forge would be an insane top deck here. Uh, Karak has not so much. <laughs> but we, we have a lot of stuff that we could draw. I guess even Karn could probably do something meaningful. There's one Savage left in the deck, right? But the deck also has a lot of other plans that, that work really well, especially Mystic Forge. There's only two left in the deck, though. I mean, this could be the, uh, the point where we start drawing bubbles, but even bubbles wouldn't be the worst. But yes, I just would totally take over the deck, the game. The interesting thing is, do we play the city here if we draw non-land? We might just play around something or have extra mana that we might need. Come on, Mystic Forge. Yes! This is how we do it. Uh, I'm definitely gonna play around infinitely everything. Uh, I don't need this. And I probably don't. Actually, I probably need. Now nah, let's try this. Come on. Forge. Oh, yes. So, plus one card advantage. Plus two card advantage. You can't kill the Forge, right? Can you? Oh my god! We're doing it! We're riding the Forge. Uh, let's get rid of this. Oh, we have another one of those? Okay. Uh, so, anyway. <laughs> that card is absolutely broken, right? So, Bobble, you do in their upkeep as far as I remember. This Bobble. Now, this Bobble is actually what you do in their end step. So, let's do it in their end step. But we could draw a card. Actually, but no, we don't want to draw a card. Oh my god, yes, yeah, no. We don't want to draw a card on their turn. Because then we get Cable Therapy for something. And he also doesn't see what we draw, right? You may cast, you may look. Ah, yeah, perfect. <laughs> he just, I type, this is gonna be ugly when he therapy, therapied me for three savages. Now he types, ouch. 
You might actually end of turn bolt me just to end this quickly. On our most recent podcast, uh, Everyday Eternal, Wop Wang of Wop Wang fame <laughs> called Mystic Forge better than Chase. Think about that. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna get this army of, of dudes or dudettes or elementals. It's fine. Can I actually make this my hand, basically? I mean, we know we're about to draw this. Actually, is there a way we can stop that? Not really. Actually, I like putting this here. This looks pretty good. You, now it's actually kind of funny. You want to attack with your elementals, and then you want to flashback, because that gives you one more token. What? You don't do it right away? Oh. Opponent. A misplay has been called. Actually, has no, it has not, because the other one was already summoning sick, right? He only untapped with one token. Is he naming on those, by the way? Names Dredge. What? How can you name Dredge? There's a lit there's literally a card called Dredge. Okay, that's pretty cool. I did not know that. Did you guys know that there's literally a card called Dredge? It's pretty cool. Okay, let's see what last card in Mr. Clifford's hand is gonna be, unless he plays that. I guess then we're also playing. I hope the last card is not Bolt, because that would be unfortunate for us. That could actually kill us. Fuck, the last card is Bolt? <sighs> so how many damage do we take? We go to 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Whoa. So we need to do something here. We draw an extra card. Okay, Mentor. Huh, Mentor is interesting. Mentor is interesting. So we cast Mentor here. Probably like this. And then we start casting cards from the top of our library. And he needs to, basically he needs to kill Mentor, right? Uh, so we're gonna tap this, and then we're gonna play this. And then he needs to right away kill Mentor, and then we're probably gonna get another turn. Or actually, do we? Oh yeah, we do, because the, the bolt's not gonna target our head. Imagine if Mentor was legendary, could like bounce with Caracas and be all cool. Imagine if we had an instant here. Is there actually a way for us to cast something of instant speed? No. And we get a token as well, which is gonna be important, I guess. Forge is insane, by the way. Okay. Lotus Petal. Shadows. <laughs> we get the prowess triggers, that's cute. Um oh Chalice is an interesting one. Do we wanna cast Chalice? I guess we do wanna cast Chalice for one. The thing is, like, I want to cast Chalice just to get rid of it, but I definitely don't want to cast it for zero because that would be a big problem for us. Hey, Karn. Karn le great creator. So how do we how do we Karn this? One, two, three, four, and then we got one, two mana left. One, two, three, four, and one, two mana left. So what do we do with two mana on our deck? Actually, maybe there's something beyond Karn. <gasps> we can play a land as well, right? So one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's already counting the land. Uh, so, artifact for two that wins the game. What if we get LED? We can use LED to cast something. I guess we could cast Walking Ballista. What if we plus Karn on Forge? Then we have a 4-4 four, four beater. I don't hate that. Actually, let's find out how this is gonna work. We still... Yeah, we can still find out how, how this is gonna work for us. Um... Right now, I'm mostly concerned with how do we make it so that the opponent doesn't kill us next turn. So we got one blocker for the young Pyromancer. So we take five, six, seven, eight. It's not bad. I think we can tap the Forge here. It's a little scary. Like, we can't plus onto to make the Forge a thing. At least we don't draw the extra card that we don't want. Um, so if I minus Karn here, they're probably gonna, like, swarm Karn and we can't really stop that. And if I plus Karn, they're probably gonna do the same. Maybe the less play. I was just like I was hoping for the best that I just get there by casting more shit, uh, which didn't work out. So what if we? What if we minus? Like eventually, it would be great if I could get Ensnaring Bridge, because that would probably win the game. But I'm one mana short of getting Ensnaring Bridge. 
I was just hoping like I, I tap Mystic Forge and then I hit another Lotus Petal or something. And that's like sweet. Uh, guess walking Ballista. And then pump a ton of mana into it. What if I just minus and I get... Oh, what if... I'm stupid. What if I minus and get bridge and just don't cast it this turn? I think that's actually it, right? Who's kind the great creator's ability? Yes. Um, bridge. And then just sit behind bridge. I'm stupid. I should have like, thought of this right away. I probably don't want to play the land. Actually, uh, this is tricky. I do draw a land next turn, so I do want to play it. Okay. So, do your worst opponent. It's going to be interesting. Depends on what they draw a lot. Fortunately for us, like, Force of Full doesn't really do anything because they can't cast it or have anything to pitch for it. This game is tight. This game is also a testament to how good Forge is. I could almost see actually tapping Forge and upkeep so I don't need to draw the Ancient Tomb, but maybe I actually want the Ancient Tomb, I'm not sure. How many Lightning Bolts? There's two Lightning Bolts gun, there's like two left in the deck. Are they gonna send everything? I guess they can only send their tokens at Karn, that's gonna be good enough. And if they do that, I'm probably not gonna block. What is Chalice? Oh, Chalice 1 is a big! Oh my god, Sexilla, thank you so much! That's a big thing, Chalice 1. So, how are these attacks gonna be like? All on us, maybe? And just enough on Karn, like these four on Karn, yeah. And then this on us, and then I'm gonna put the Monk on the Pyromancer. I probably forgot that we have a good card, actually, yeah. <laughs> maybe I actually do wanna draw the Ancient Tomb, because drawing the Ancient Tombs means that I get to Ensnaring Bridge and, put, and have like zero cards in hand. What does he have in the main deck that beats Ensnaring Bridge? Deathrite Shaman? Yes. Actually, you can't cast that. Okay, cool. Um, He literally has nothing in the main deck that beats Ensnaring Bridge. Okay. Upside down, inside up. It's here. Unless he has, like, I don't know, Greens and Sun, but she doesn't. So now we just need to make sure that we are able to always cast our spells. I think it's okay if we draw this. Should probably pay, play this in case he... Well, he can't even spell pierce. Oh my god, this is... All of this is, like, working out so nice. He literally can't win now. I think I'm not even gonna use the forge. Oh, maybe I am. I mean, I can still play those, right? I Let's see whether I also want to crack them. Okay, now at this point... I'll just cast Karn. And I don't even need to... I guess I can minus for LED, but that doesn't do anything. Okay, we win. <laughs> oh, that was a tight game, I like that. Yeah. Okay, so what are we scared? What's coming in? Flusterstorms, no. Needle could be, but not so much. Pyroblast, no. Surgical, nah. Well, not so much. A braid is gonna be good. Echoing Truth can do something. Configure then can be annoying, but we can we can walk in ballista that. So braid is definitely gonna be annoying. On chalice. But at least it's like four mana for two, but for us it's also the, in the best case scenario, it's it's like their two mana for our two mana, but our two mana came out of a single land. So what is he taking out? I could see him on the play. He's probably keeping dazes, even though it's actually that it's actually hard because we have we have caverns. Anyway, let's look at what we have available. So containment priest technically, swords to plowshares technically. But the thing is, swords to plowshares that's usually just like you something you bring in when you feel like oh the chalice is going to be really bad in this matchup. And usually in the matchups, the Chalice is really bad, like Death and Texas, um, Maverick. Even though it's like not super bad, but it's not that great. You, you, you usually Swords of Flourish is the kind of card that's actually decent against them. So let's see, is there anything I don't want? I think I really like all of this. Karn, Karn is, uh... Could see, like, bringing in one Containment Priest. How does he have to remove the Containment Priest? He's got the upgrades, he's got the, the Lightning Bolts. Empress is like a nice blocker for just random tokens. And if he goes for... Ah, well, if he goes for something super quick, we can't stop it anyway. 
could see like I don't know two. On the other hand, I'm confident the scare almost want to bring in those potions. Doesn't have Delva, right? Blood chain could also be an issue at some point. But the problem is there's not much I want to take out. Like I could see taking out a Karn. Karn is also good. I remember I usually took out like the fourth Mox Opal, but apparently this one's already taken out. Uh, so let's. What if we do it like this? I don't hate this. This also takes care of, of Phoenixes. Uh, so does the Contemporary. But this takes care of Phoenixes afterwards, after the fact. No, but we, we can maybe play even turn one Contemporary Priest. I wouldn't hate that. Let's do it like this. Maybe I want three. <laughs> nah, three is too much right now. Maybe I'm gonna regret that. Fluffy once again with us back against the ball, up against the Bomberman deck. One of Legacy's most. I oh, can't even call it like a best kept secret, it's just like really good. <laughs> and a lot of people know about it, it's just so expensive. Okay, now if he doesn't have Bolt, this mentor is gonna go wild on turn two. Maybe even turn one if we find Lotus Petal. Technically, you could also do it with Mox Opal, but then we would only get one token. I think it would still be worth it. Especially if he taps out for Panda here or anything, so he can't kill it right away. So he needs to get a second turn. Come on, Blue Mana. Black Mana, okay. We got that. Come on, Lotus Petal. We've done it before, we can do it again. Ah, okay. <laughs> Mmm, so what's my play? So if we draw Kevin, I wish I had played Ancient Tomb first. But overall, that's actually not that unlikely. We have four. But I don't want to have my Ancient Tomb wasteland it. I think I'm gonna go with this. And we're gonna try this. I think I'm, I'm okay playing in today's... Uh, am I though? Actually, I could I could play an LED first and then <laughs> and then pay for the days using the LED, basically discarding my entire hand of cards that don't really do anything anyway. But in that case, I should have probably played the Bobble and cracked it, just so to increase my odds of drawing another Lotus Petal to play around days. Because if I do the pay for days with the LED line, then I definitely play Bobble first anyway. <laughs> and it's weird. <laughs> so let's see what the opponent is going to be up to. Okay. Well, I guess Mentor is, is a reasonable name here. You probably wouldn't name Mentor if you had Bolt. One of you wants a flashback on LED, that would be crazy. I could see him naming Chalice. Chalice wouldn't be the worst name. Like if you name any of the four mana spells, that's probably a turn too early. You can you can wait on those. Especially if you have days. So you probably want to name like a two or, or maybe a three mana spell. Probably more like a two-mana spell like Chalice. But I mean, all of that is just speculation. Heavily depends on what they have in hand. Like I said, if you current the Great Creator, okay, yeah, okay, no. Ain't got that. I would actually happily trade my two LEDs for your Death Watch Shaman there. Especially since right now this is the only source of red. Also makes me think they might have a braid in hand, maybe. Actually, nah, I wouldn't make But since he didn't name Chalice, I'm feeling a little more... Could be a little more likely that he has an answer to Chalice. Is he considering flashing back on Mentor? Because if he doesn't have Days of Force, then Mentor is gonna be beating... Or Bolt. Like, Bolt would also help. I would get a token out of it, but so be it. The coolest thing would be to ambush a Death Watch Shaman with a uh, Containment Priest. Like if I drew Containment Priest now and then for whatever reason he tapped out and was like, oh, I guess Death Watch Shaman gets to attack, BAM! Boom! Head on collision into Containment Priest. You've been contained, sir. Why are those Oh, one of them is allegedly foil, I guess. 
Like this is blue and black and this is blue and red. This is actually this is a volcanic island if you look at this. Anyway, so let's see what the opponent's gonna do. Attack us the whole time. Okay, now that's something else. That really means you don't have bolt. And that actually makes me think maybe you're really gonna flashback. Like this may this has like no bolt written all over it. <laughs> look what we drew! We're so lucky. Um no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do the thing where I pay for days with uh, this one. Ooh, this gets to live. And as far as I remember, he didn't have mess removal, did he? Oh my god, this is gonna be great. Oh my god, so much power. Power overwhelming. Carrier has arrived. So, Misha's bubble you're supposed to do in that. So I'm gonna do that. I learned that from Max. <laughs> Okay. Oh, well, I I hadn't set us up. Okay, well, too bad. <laughs> I didn't learn that from X. Okay. Oh, is he is he really just gonna try to phoenix me? Oh, now entering bridge would be really sweet, but... Uh, okay, this is interesting on many levels. Looks like he's gonna try to phoenix me. And he can randomly carry therapy for something if he doesn't have uh, Gitexian Probe. He might have Gitexian Probe, though, because he needs one more spell to trigger the, the, the phoenix, phoenixes. Oh, he's gonna flashback. Oh, that's so interesting. Is he gonna name Karn again? That would be insane. I mean, Karn's the only card that really beats him here, right? I guess Mystic Forge would also maybe beat him. You almost need to name Karn again, just because it would be so good against you. And I only drew one card. Like, all the cards are equally likely. Cyberchest does it too. Well, Cyberchest draws infinite cards, but it doesn't win. And then I would die to attacking phoenixes. Oh, infinite prowess, see? That's why you guys are really good and I'm the streamer. <laughs> that does something, right? <laughs> okay, actually we have a couple of cards that would be really good here. I think you must actually arrive at naming Karn again. Even though it looks stupid, I mean, it's it's the best play. And it's gonna be super satisfying when you name Karn, you actually do get to hit here. He names Karn a great creator and he hits. That's that must be super satisfying. Double kill. Well, not really double kill, right? Okay, buried alive. Actually, I should I should do it after it's done searching his library. I mean, yeah, Mystic Forge, Cyber Chest. There's a couple of things. Mystic Forge could also easily lead to prowess. Prowess kills. Like, technically, he could also only attack me with two phoenixes, take me down to nine, and then kill me next turn. That's like the Entreat the Angels way of playing the game. And the upside would be that he would have one more blocker in case uh, things go south, and maybe that's going to be the big difference between me killing him and me not killing him. And then on the swing back, once again for me, my tokens wouldn't be able to kill him. It's, it's not like super likely, though. It's... Of course, it also gets punished if I ever remove a spell or something. Hey, opponent. This is gonna be it. We're gonna draw two cards. What do you have? One of your cards is buried alive, so you can't force a fill. Another one of those. And Chalice. Fuck. <laughs> Actually, is it good enough? No, it's probably not. So, four, uh, three, six... Nine? Ah, it's just not good enough. Damn. I was hoping it would be. <laughs> uh, I guess nothing can really do about it. Is it really like three, six, nine? And it's four, so 13. So if we had more, it would be 17. Still not good enough. So close. Okay, let's get to the next game. Maybe. Maybe I want another Containment Priest. I don't know. Seems like a good card. <laughs> now we literally lost to, to what Containment Priest would have stopped. If we had taken out like a bubble. <laughs> um. I want to change. It's actually kind of funny how, how like Karn was so important. I actually decided out one of them. Maybe I want to take out something else. Now I need to take out even more cards. It's getting to a weird point, honestly. I could see taking out like an LED. It's 
Actually, that feels really bad. I, th I think I'm still going to take out a Karn. The thing is with Karn, like, it's nice when it gets the... Actually, yeah, it gets Thomas Crypt, though. <sighs> but I just don't want to take out the Forge. Forge is just too insane. But we're running out of cards I want to take out. I could see taking out maybe Lotus Battle. It's just, it's just so good. I'm actually going to take out a Walking Medicine. Hey, Alex, how's it going? Yeah, like, Forge is a card that I could consider. It's just so good, especially on the play, right? Ah, let's figure that out. Alex, hopefully... <laughs> I'm sorry to say that. Hopefully you're about to watch the last game. Because this is game three of the fourth match, and I'm up two and one. So if I win this, it's going to be over. But if I lose this, we're going to play our last deck against a horrible matchup. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Ooh. Ooh. I think we have to money on this. Even though it has like a couple of things and we get two draws for the next turn. Yeah, this one is okay. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep this and I think I'm gonna put away the Lotus Petal. Uh, actually, maybe I should have put away the City of Traders because the thing is like City of Traders and Lotus Petal are kind of the same in this hand. Because Lotus Petal allows you to cast at uh, play Ancient Tomb on the second turn and then you lose it. Ah, uh, but City of Traders is gonna be better on the turn after. Keeping seven. Oh, he's also money against six. Oh, well, there's something. Hey. <laughs> okay, opponent kept on six. Okay, cool. So here's gonna be our best card for the matchup. Are you gonna have force? No, you don't. Okay, so this is already looking good. We could take this, but I, last time I said this, we ended up clicking the wrong spell and lost. Oh, Maverick is great though. Like it's it's struggling, but I really like Maverick. It's just, you know what? Should I should we like how greedy should we be? Maybe I'm gonna do it like this. I don't like the city of trade is gonna be important. Sweet emotes, by the way. So if you want emotes like Alex, you have to sign up to the Glimpse Chain and become a member of the. Glimpse chain. <laughs> I tried to find a better word, but it's just a glimpse chain. <laughs> it's really cool, right? I, I want to add more emotes. So if you if you have like uh, emotes that you would like for me to add, let me know. So, oh my god, the, the Mox Opal is actually turned on. Two, four, six. Not that it really matters. Actually, it does matter because then I don't need to tap my my thing. So I could get. What? Is he fighting over this? That would be crazy. You know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna do this. If you wanna force this, that's okay. Actually, it's it's actually bad. I should have led with Karn. Okay, it's cool that he didn't force this. Because the thing is, if you if you play this and then he forces it, and then you have like basically only one more threat, assuming he doesn't have another force. Whereas if I lead this and he forces it and then I play this, then I still have another threat. I wonder if he's gonna go, like, eventually gonna just like randomly cast spells into Chalice. Okay. Let's cast this. And then let's get Mr. Mr. Karn. Mr. Karn, please. You've been called to the battlefield, Mr. Karn. We are not sure what you're supposed to get here. Mm. Oh, actually, next turn, you're supposed to get Mystic Forge, right? I wish I had like a. Like an artifact that I could plus, so I could have actual, an actual proper blocker. I guess I could try Ensnaring Bridge. Hmm. Could Oh, I could get LED. But that only... LED just doesn't get it. Card gets you out of my head. <laughs> okay, that's sweet. Uh, What if I get Mishra's Bubble and just replay it? It's not the greatest play. Like any minus play is not gonna be great. Because next turn I can minus and get walking. But the thing is, like anything good I get here, I very much expect to be farcified, which I guess is okay. Like that's not not a problem. 
I could also get... Maybe I should get LED. Oh, you know what I actually should get? I should get Walking Ballista. I should get Walking Ballista because even if he if he forces it, I will just buy it back next turn. And now even his attack. Oh yeah. Okay. What is he gonna do about this? That's interesting. Like the fact that he's fetching is interesting, not the fact that he's gonna do something. Can't get you out of my head. That's really sweet. Kylie Minogue would have stolen that. Why would you? Maybe he wants to randomly play something into, into the chalice just so he can make the tokens, which would be like fair. <gasps> you know what? Oh, I, I know why he fetched. Oh, he's smart. He fetched because had the walking ballista gotten to play and he would have fetched, then I would have respawned killed one of the pyromancers, maybe, and then he would have gotten one fewer token. But now this way I actually have one, few, one more blocker and it's actually gonna lose something attacking here. It's actually gonna be a weird game because you can literally cast everything into chalice and get quite a lot of tokens. I'm almost at a point where I just wanna trade my ballista for one of the pyromancers because the pyromancers are getting out of control quickly. <laughs> yeah, Bomberman is really good and Bomberman has like so many things that it can do. Next turn we actually win if we... Like actually I wouldn't hate if we cast everything into the chalice and the text or, or something like that because then you can play the next, next card minus an LED and get there. Go ahead, be my guest. I will yield to this. We shall not yield right to this. Oh, this song. What's this song? This song is so good. What is it? Oh, it's Power Rangers. Every time it comes up, I'm, I'm getting so excited for it. <laughs> So I guess all of this is going to go into Karn. I'm scared of blocking. The thing is, if I block here with the Oryx Savage, which would, which would be like the obvious block, then he can upbraid. But the thing is, if he had upbraid, he would have probably upbraided first on the Chalice. You can actually keep Karn alive by doing like some sophisticated blocking. I think I actually like it like this. And I... I mean, it would be so unlikely for him to have a braid. Like, so unlikely, because he could have played a braid first and then brainstorm ponder, which would have been so much better. But just like this super off chance, because that's the one way this game could get away from us. And I think I want to do it like this. On the other hand, keeping Karn around, like, there's no point in keeping Karn around. Karn is still going to be a 2. That actually was a stupid block by me. Damn, Chichi! Thanks for staying- Whoa, on a 30 month streak! You're my longest subscriber, thank you so much! So, so much! I wanted to use this voice. Damn, Chi Chi! Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god, 13 months? That's more than a year, I can't believe it. You, you, you're the, I would say, the most faithful subscriber I've ever had. Like, there's others who are also like at this point, but you, you're the very, very first one. Thank you so much. Actually, there's no point in... Actually, there is a point in doing it like this. So sweet. That Mega Man looks so good next to your name. Did you know that? <laughs> so yeah, I could have blocked one of the tokens and kept Karn at two, but just, like, I was just so afraid of Raid. Like, I was afraid that he would, like, double reverse me. But I think now I got it. Um, now I'm just gonna cast another Karn. And that Karn gets LED. And then I got it. Uh, where is it? There's LED. And then I would guess he would basically concede. Is he not? Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead with it and eventually he will probably concede. Is he He's still typing. GG's, GG's. Man, I actually sighted out a Karn. And now this, this card actually comes in and wins the match for us.
Awesome, uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Flawless victory! Well, almost flawless, right? You got pretty close. Oh, guys, thank you so, so much. Seriously, I love streaming this for you and the best thing for a streamer. And I think before I streamed, that wasn't always obvious to me, but the best thing for a streamer to make him feel or her or, you know, feel cool about it is when people are active in the chat. When people are like, hey, blah, 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 unless they, they're like toxic. But you, you guys are basically never toxic. That's so cool. So thank you so much for hanging around for us, like watching this this Legacy Unchained match. Um, I'm actually not sure which, what my opponent's gonna be next week. But yeah, you like those screen changes? I actually I didn't I did I didn't do that. I got that from from somebody else who does that for other people. And I think they're called Alpha Gaming on YouTube. So definitely give them give them a visit. If especially if you're streaming yourself, they have a lot of resources for streamers. If you want this. Check this out, the Legacy Premier League. And that's also my Legacy Premier League hoodie. You can head to itstudent.com and get your Legacy Premier League hoodie. Or if you want to support me in a different way, you can head to patreon.com slash itstudent23 and become a patron of mine, which definitely makes some... Um, Which is definitely not a mistake. <laughs> I wanted to say, which definitely makes a difference. <laughs> which, which is definitely a mistake. <laughs> anyway, um, other stuff I do, uh, check out itstudent.com where you can find the Everyday Eternal podcast. Every once in a while I also write small articles or, or stuff like that. And I try to stream two to three times a week. I haven't been that active in the last two weeks, but I'm, I'm back to streaming like two to three times, like I said, a week. 